HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together following the pictured step-by-step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all. Lucky Land Casino asking people what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? Lucky? In line at the deli, I guess? Aha, in my dentist's office. More than once, actually. Do I have to say? Yes, you do. In the car before my kid's PTA meeting. Really? Yes. Excuse me, what's the weirdest place you've gotten lucky? I never win and tell. Well, there you have it. You can get lucky anywhere, playing at LuckyLandSlots.com. Play for free right now. Are you feeling lucky? No purchase necessary. Void where prohibited by law. 18 plus. Terms and conditions apply. See website for details. Welcome to Having It All. My name is Matthew Bivens, and each week I bring you conversations and insights that explore the question, what does having it all mean to you? My goal is to leave you with stories you can relate to and messages you can take action on so that you can create an abundant, loving life. I am so excited that you're here to hang out with me today. Now, let's jump right into this episode. My conversation today is with Bill Jameson. Bill is a man of many roles. He's an amazing husband to his wife, Nancy, father to his boys, Rex and Lucas, and friend to myself and everyone else he's touched in his life. Bill is also a brilliant entrepreneur. He and his wife own a real estate company called Jameson & Company, where them and their team are completely shifting what a powerful and productive company culture actually looks like. Now, Bill is someone I am personally incredibly grateful to have in my life, and I wanted to chat with him on the podcast for two main reasons. The first is that I'm inspired simply by how unbelievably clear he is on what he wants out of life and how he goes about getting it. And two, I'm inspired by how balanced he remains through all of it because of the tools that he uses. My conversation with Bill lasted close to two hours. And he actually came into my studio live to have this conversation with me face-to-face, which was fantastic. And so what I've done is taken that two-hour conversation and shaved it down to the best 40 minutes for you all. We're going to kick things off right in the middle of our conversation where we're talking about uncomfortable situations. And Bill is going to share how he approaches them. So with that, let's jump right into the conversation. Bill, I want to take a total 180-degree turn now. All right. Let's get it. Because you mentioned, I I think this was recorded, it may not have been, but you mentioned uh, fear and apprehension around public speaking. Mm -hmm. Uh, Yet right now you're here hanging out with me speaking and what we're talking about and your voice and your message is going to go out to thousands and thousands of people. So what inspired you to confront that fear or face that fear or how did you overcome that to get to the point where you're hanging out with me in the studio speaking? Well, you know, a couple of things. Um, first of all, it's it's you and who you're being, Matt. You are. I've, I've listened to your podcasts. You are. Uh, you're an amazing. I'm going to call you an interviewer. I don't know <laughs> you have another name for it. But, uh, you're an amazing interviewer. You're very insightful. And I and I knew and I journaled about that. By the way, on the way here, oh, that's awesome. that you would do everything you knew to do to make me as comfortable as possible. And I know, and you have done that. And it's completely cool. put me at ease. So thank you for who you're being and holding that space for me. Uh, and then, you know, on the other side of it, uh, you know, I, I'm at a point in my life where if I'm not facing my fears, what am I doing exactly? Mm. I, you know, I, I don't know how to put this. I, I uh, do not want to live in fear. I, I want to live boldly. 
I want to I want to take massive action at all times, and you can define massive action however you want. Yeah. You know, and uh, and for me, this is massive action: taking this step and and stepping out of my comfort zone and doing something that I'm not comfortable with, and realizing that the more I do it, the more I rep it, the more comfortable I will be with it. And and why is all of that important to you? Because it makes logical sense to not go into something that's scary, right? Like our, you know, we experiences those, those responses in our bodies, the, the, the elevated heart, heart rate, the sweat underneath the arms, the sweaty palms, the clammy mouth, like that happens in our bodies. So shouldn't, shouldn't you turn the other direction instead of going into that? Yeah. It's kind of like that fight or flight thing, right? Yeah. And, uh, I, I just, you know, I think as, uh, part of being an adult and a mature adult and one that is looking to increase their relationship to, to life and people around them that, and to be the example, mm. right? Because everybody's watching. Yeah. Or at least somebody's watching. And, and, and to be that example of, of taking my fear and, and turning it around and, and making something amazing out of it is, uh, is, is part is, is something I play for. And I, I honestly, I think it's one of my jobs. I love that. Thank you. That was a loaded question, I'll be honest, because uh, I'm the same way. Okay. Uh, I'm the same way. Um, when I experience something that is that is scary, that you know elevates my heart, I know that that's where I need to step into. Right. Because like you, I'm playing for, for you know elevation. I'm playing for my own personal greatness. And uh, so knowing that you had that apprehension and you still came here to, to talk to me, Right. Uh, was huge because this is a living example of somebody stepping out of their comfort zone. Absolutely. And Thank you. and that's, you know, this show is having it all. And I don't believe you can have it all if you're if you aren't willing to step out of your comfort zone, because however you end up defining what having it all means to you, there's most likely something you're going to have to there, there's work involved. There's fears to overcome. Right. There's uh, you're going to be uncomfortable. And so the fact that you coming on the show called Having It All meant that you had to overcome some some fears. Right. It's huge. Thank you. It's huge and it's and it's real. And so uh, we were talking or go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say you can't have it all if you're hiding behind something, you know, Oof. because you're you are you are leaving you're leaving it on the table, right? Yes. Man. So you nailed it. Thank you. You nailed anyway, it. Anyway, just wanna interject. Let's talk about that. Okay. Why can't you have it all if if you are hiding things, why do you think that? Well, I mean, there's, there's, there's a couple different levels to that, you know, and if you're, if you're hiding behind something, whether it's your, uh, you know, it could be a habit you're hiding behind, uh, you know, may, you know, maybe it, may, it might've been easier for me to come up here and talk to you if I, uh, hid behind a couple of shots of vodka before I came in here. Mm. Right. Absolutely. Yeah, if that was the thing that, you know, the place where you would go in the past. Right. Totally. Right. Um, you know, and are you really stepping into your greatness when you're when you're using a crutch to get into that into that spot? I don't I don't think so. That's not my definition of having it all. HelloFresh takes the guesswork and the extra hassle out of planning and preparing delicious meals for dinner. America's number one meal kit, HelloFresh gives you over 40 recipes to choose from each week. And then your farm fresh pre-portioned seasonal ingredients arrive at your doorstep with simple instructions to help you feel like the master chef of your kitchen. And did you know that HelloFresh is cheaper than grocery shopping and 25% less expensive than takeout? HelloFresh has been an awesome addition to our household's dinner routine. We all get involved and cook together following the pictured step-by-step -step instructions. It's a fun quality time and the meals are delicious. Give it a try and see for yourself. Go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all for 50% off plus free shipping. Again, to get 50% off plus free shipping, go to HelloFresh.com slash 50 having it all and use code 50 having it all. Um, it makes me think like it makes me think about the areas of my life where I, I define something big for myself and mm -hmm. I say, this is what I'm playing for. And I bring along that crutch and that baggage. Right. You know what I mean? Because you're right. Like if, 
if, if you came on the, if coming on this show, if in order for you to do that, you had to toss back a couple of shots right? and then come and talk about how you have it all. I mean, that's, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense to me. It seems a little counterproductive. Doesn't it seems it? incredibly counterproductive. It, it, it seems fraudulent mm-hmm. and it makes, you know, it's like how, if, if that is easy, you know what I mean? Like that might've been just the easy thing that you went to. Um, and it doesn't have to be as extreme as, as, you know, as drinking before something. It could be anything. Right. Like whatever it is for, for, for you out there, it's worth examining. Are you truly being authentic? Is the, are the things that you are doing, are they taking you to a more powerful place? Are they healing or are they doing the opposite? I love that. Is it healing? Yeah. You know, I mean, if you're, if, if you're hiding behind a habit, to in order to do something else that uh, to me that's that's not healing that's you know that mm. that would be a disempowering movement and you know and again you're not ha- you're not experiencing life at its grandest you know where it can be and when you say hiding behind a habit it could be hiding behind an action mhm you know like taking the the shot it could be hiding behind a relationship i think that's huge i think i think there's yeah. you know many many people hide behind relationships because they're scared of, of what an alternative looks like. And it makes me think of a friend of mine, fellow podcaster. He was on the show. His name is Paul Coliani. And Paul shared, I believe he shared it on the show, but Paul and I have connected afterwards. He lives nearby and we've had many lunches together. And he shared the story of his mom. And his mom stayed with an abusive husband, an abusive partner for years. Wow. Okay. Because she was afraid of letting go and being on her own mm-hmm. so hiding behind that relationship right. hiding behind it and in that case it was a, an abusive one and and she had, she was aware of it you know like he would talk to her about that and he had to come to terms with like she's choosing right now but i love how you said hiding behind a habit because it can be an action it can be a relationship or it can be a thought absolutely you know like some i i, yeah. I, I'm I not, you just you simply say to yourself i can't do this yeah as soon as you say i can't you know, I mean, you're done. Yeah. You're done. I can't public speak. Exactly. You know, and how am I experiencing life at its fullest if I can't get out in front of a couple of people and, and say a couple of words? I'm not, for me, I am not experiencing life at its fullest because I'm, I'm shying away from something that can easily be done. And, and, you know, you could have even said something like, I don't have anything to share. Like my perspectives aren't aren't powerful enough. Like I don't, I'm not smart enough. I'm not enough. Right. And that's such a limiting thought as well Mm -hmm. that um, I've had, I've totally had that when I, this podcast, you know, getting into this podcast for me was like, well, what do I really have to say? Mm -hmm. You know, regardless of the, of the five years of, of working on, you know, intentional work on looking at who I am, the 2000 plus hours still, Come to a point where I'm like, well, what do I have to say? Right. And it's those, it's those, those limiting beliefs that we hide behind that are so, that can just hold us back. You know, and, and that, you know, I want to bring that back to uh, where we started at the beginning of the conversation with accountability. Mm. When you, when you're, when you're setting goals and you're getting a little bit out of your comfort zone and then you have somebody to hold you accountable, it, 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 it creates a space to overcome those limiting beliefs or hiding behind those habits or evolving your relationship to whatever it is that you're working on at that point. So I just want to stress again that accountability is just such a huge uh, component of evolving who you are, your consciousness and your relationship to life. Totally. And you know, when you have somebody who's holding you accountable and is being very honest, right. You know, and, uh, and real about how you're showing up because you could have said, uh, Matthew, I'm not really interested in, in the podcast. Mm-hmm. I have too much work going on or whatever, whatever it was. And if I perceived that as some sort of excuse, I'd been like, what the hell? Right. Like, why are you playing small? Right. You know what I mean? And that's the relationship we have. So having that person who can hold you accountable and give you the real raw feedback that you need to hear. And uh, I think that's an extremely powerful, powerful tool and, uh, and, and relationship to have in, in your life. And I totally believe, by the way, that if I hadn't shown up for this podcast, you would have said, Bill, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. Yeah, because, you know, we, I know you're playing for something amazing and great. 
Um, you mentioned relationships, mm-hmm. and so I want to turn this and, and quickly look at some relationships that you have in your life because uh, you're, you're you're big on relationships. I am, and and relationships um, mean a lot to you. And and I I experience you in you know with your relationships just as simple as your greetings to me. Hmm. You know, I'll say something like you know like what's what's up, Bill, and you say you are. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like that simple response. I'm like, man, he's you know he, he's He's loving on me, filling up my love tank. So uh, talk to me a little bit about relationships. And then I want to get into the mission statements that you have because those are really powerful as well. Cool. You know, I think relationships are um, a lot of from the, they're the roles that I that I choose. Um, I'm, I'm a leader. Uh, the things I choose to participate in, being a husband, a father, a business owner, um, something I've never I've never thought that I would be, and I am now, is that I'm a mentor or a coach to mm-hmm. um, a, a few other people around me, uh, other realtors. Um, I'm a mentor to those in our group now. Yeah. Uh, it's amazing. I, I just, I don't know, it's not a role that I ever pictured myself in. Um, you know, I, I'm to myself, to my friends as a brother and a son. Uh, and a lot of it uh, has taught me to be more transparent, which to me is being more abundant and open and authentic um, over being, you know, like we just talked about over being over the resistance, you know, and yeah. having a lack or fear yeah. uh, or just being quiet, you know, yeah. you know, and, and not saying and speaking my truth. Uh, I mean, all those things, I mean, that doesn't serve those around me. Um, so as a consequence for, uh, playing all these roles and stepping into them and and playing for a greater version of myself, I really find that um, I find that my communication is increased. Um, you know, and like I said, I'm mentoring and coaching agents, and as a result, I'm I'm more evolved. I feel, or at least I am evolving every day and uh, becoming a greater a greater version of myself than I ever was, and it's amazing. And I, I've watched uh, your growth and transformation over the past three years. I've watched you really just blow up in the in many of the roles that you've had. And I've always uh, I, I've watched you as somebody who I admire and somebody I I, I, I model myself out, out after in a lot of ways, mm. especially when it comes to a husband and a father. Um, as you know, Sarah and I are pregnant right now, and and we're, we'll be welcoming our first child in September about Woo-hoo. three months yeah so, so awesome just watching how your you, your boys conduct themselves mm. I'm like Sarah take notes because <laughs> Bill and Nancy are, are creating just amazing humans they are and amazing. growing you know raising amazing humans so I watch you in that role and um, I know that when when you're playing big games in these different roles and when you've taken on a lot of roles and when you are uh, intending to be as powerful as you can in those different roles. I, I know, because I've done this myself, that a mission statement is is huge in making sure that you are on track and making sure that you are clear about what you're playing for so that you can, can always show up as your most powerful self. And you have a, not just one mission statement. You've got three or four here. And I, I would love for you to first just explain, uh, share the, the, you know, the, the different areas that you've created mission statements in and why, and then I'll have you read them. <clears throat> cool. All right. So um, we are, Nancy and I are big believers that, uh, you know, we need, we, we choose to put out there what we want to grow into, which is basically the definition of a mission statement, right? Yeah. And... We, there are several areas in our life that we do want to grow into, um, and I want to grow into personally. And so we have written actually mission statements. Uh, I have written a mission statement for myself. Uh, Nancy and I have written a couple's mission statement together. Uh, and of course we have a mission statement, uh, a company mission statement as well. Um, that's, you know, that's actually where people, what people typically think of when they think mission statement. Right. They think for a company. Right. And but think about why, like, the reasons why a company has a mission statement it makes sense. It's so that everybody within the company knows where the com- what the company's values, you know, what they value, what they believe, and what they're playing for. 
And it's like, why aren't, why don't we have the same thing in our personal lives? You know? And so I'm, I'm happy that you not only have a company one, but you have the personal one, you have the family one, you have the couple's mission statement because it makes sense when you look at it that way. It makes sense. Yeah, you know, the amazing thing is that, you know, I, I mean, we've had the company mission statement for a little while and we are, we have, we're definitely growing into it. The, my personal mission statement, I wrote back in 2014 and I haven't changed it. Oh, so this is a two year, two year old it, mission statement. Yes. And evolution time. It is. And, and I'm growing into it now. Oh, okay. So I've, I've held the space for it. It's held the space for me. And, Jeez. and, and it, it's, it's not one of those one or two liners. Like it's just, it's kind of a, Oh, it, we'll, it, we'll get into it's, it. It's a kind of a big thing. So to share it. Uh, it's pretty intentional and, and, uh, it might've, it was definitely a lot bigger than who I was at the time. Uh, you know, so. But that's like, why not play for something bigger? Right. You like, know, it's like you set that big goal, the financial goal or the revenue goal with your business. If you set a goal that's smaller, you know, like let's say your business brings in a million a year and you set a goal for 500,000, that that's not growth. That's opposite direction. So same with your mission statement. You're like, I'm going to set the bar freaking high and grow into it. That's funny you say that because, you know, there was a point where, you know, we're, we're looking at our business and we're looking at the numbers and we're like, okay, we'll play for 15 million sales or play for 20 million sales. But really the ultimate goal is to play for... $80 million in sales. That's when our lives really can transform at that level. And so why are we going to play for 20, 20 million in sales this year? Let's play for 80 million this, this year. Yeah, you know, and let's always, let's always be playing for 80 million, you know, anything less. And, you know, we're selling ourselves short. And so you've, you've carried that same philosophy into your personal mission statement. Yes. So, so like in 2014, at least that's where you were, you were playing for $80 million Bill Jameson in 2014, and you're growing into that Ex now. Exactly. Exactly. Well, why don't you go ahead and, uh, and and read your mission statement? This first one you're reading. This is your personal mission statement. Yes, sir. All right. Cool. All right. So my personal mission statement is to transcend from the ordinary to extraordinary standards at the level of unconscious competency in the realm of self mastery, humility, and connected love. Surrendering the I know for we flow. Balancing verbal and nonverbal empathic communication. By being a servant leader and a sagacious follower, modeling peace, openness, and abundance, while being a space for detoxing the ego and a source for receiving the intoxicating spirit. Whew. Man, <laughs> that doesn't sound like something you just uh, cranked out. In in a, in a five minute stand, <laughs> <laughs> that represents hours and hours of work and Beautiful. and play and some help. You know, I reached out to the community to to uh, to get some reflection on who I was being to them and who they held a space for me to be, and uh, and uh, a coach, De Adeoba, uh is an amazing mission builder mm. and uh it's had it's had a significant influence on my life and I, I i really feel like i am living into a lot of this right now and it's just coming to fruition i'm so glad i haven't messed with it either because a lot of people you know i feel like well they change them a lot and maybe that's that's great for them but for me i just i wanted to see where this was going to go before I, I i changed it and it's been it's been a great journey i love that so how do you incorporate this into your life? Do you read it every day? Do you memorize it? Is this like, do you sit there and chant this while doing a, <laughs> a special energy yoga pose or something? Like, how, how do you incorporate this? I will recite some of it while I am, uh, while maybe I'm exercising. Okay. Um, sitting in a squat hole, we do these things down at the playground when we are, we call it playing and a lot of the world will call it working, working yeah, out, but we, work call, out. we call it play, play time, play camp. And I will recite some of this just so I am, I'm, uh, stretching my consciousness and, you know, and really internalizing, um, mm -hmm. you know, the words and, and make it really mean something to me. And it does, it pop and honestly, you know, thank you for asking that question because it actually pops up on my phone every morning as well. Oh. Like so, a little reminder thing? Or? Exactly. I have it as a... Every I, morning? Every single morning. It pops up at 8.30 a.m. That's and, awesome. And I read it at that point as well. That's pretty cool. I never thought of that. Like I, I've written mine on a, 
on a note card that's in like as my bookmark. Oh, cool! Um, it used to be on the bathroom mirror. I think I don't think it's up there right now. But I love love having that be cool to put it on the phone because I mean we're all connected to our phones. Pretty much. Yeah. So okay. So that was your personal mission statement. Mm-hmm. Powerful. Um, the next one you have is a, which one do you want to share next? Uh, I'll go with the, uh, the couple's mission statement. Okay. Uh, Nancy and I last year, uh, as we were working on our, re- uh, relationship standards, uh, wanted a mission statement. So we, uh, so, so, you know, we could, we, from, as a couple, we could live into something greater. What are, you mentioned relationship standards. What are that? I don't want to gloss over that stuff because that's, that's different as well. So what are, what are relationship standards? Why do you guys have those? Uh, relationship standards are our guidelines for uh, how Nancy and I relate to each other, how we uh, hold each other to uh, accountable to who we are to, for each other and who we are individually. Huh. Does that make? Yeah, no, no, that's that's great. I mean, it's one of those things where uh, you know, for you listening, it's like yeah, 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 relationship standards. Yeah, yeah, wait, wait, what? Relationship standards. What right. are those? So yeah, if we just we feel like if. Uh, we know what we're playing for and we have at least a, uh, a, you know, a minimum guideline that we, we can follow that we will live into a, a greater guideline, um, of, uh, you know, who we show up for each other as in a relationship. And, you know, and, 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 you know, it, it could be, you know, I mean, every, everybody's going to get into an argument or, you know, or uh, I'll speak for myself, Nancy and I can, you know, we can get into it every once in a while. And uh, if we have some standard, some standards around how we get into it, we can get out of it more quickly. If we have mm-hmm. standards about who we're hanging out with or what we're doing, then uh, we know we're always making the most profitable choice for each other as well. Hey guys, it is Ryan. I'm not sure if you know this about me, but I'm a bit of a fun fanatic when I can. I like to work, but I like fun too. It's a thing. And now the truth is out there. I can tell you about my favorite place to have fun. Chumba Casino. They have hundreds of social casino style games to choose from with new games released each week. You can play for free anytime, anywhere. And each day brings a new chance to collect daily bonuses. So join me in the fun. Sign up now at ChumbaCasino.com. No purchase necessary. VTW. Void or prohibited by law. See terms and conditions. 18 plus. Before Shopify, were you wondering, where are my sales at? Now you're selling with Shopify, the global commerce platform supercharging your selling. You have no problem selling online, in person, on social media, and beyond. Gary, easy on the cha-ching. <clears throat> oh, sorry, but my Shopify sales are through the roof. Start selling with Shopify today and discover how millions of businesses around the world use Shopify to ignite their selling. Sign up for a $1 per month trial period at shopify.com slash listen. Shopify.com slash listen. And I'm going to go back to business and write this back to business because, okay. you know, with like like with the mission statement, you mm-hmm. know, the mission statement helps the business know where it's going. Same with your personal mission statement. Your businesses also have standards, right? They, they have standards for how the business, the people within the business are going to conduct themselves and agreements that they've made on this is, I will follow this standard, I will conduct, conduct myself accordingly. And you've simply done the same thing for your relationship. And I think that's brilliant. I think it's, it's beautiful. Um, as you know, Sarah and I are entering our second year of marriage and you all are in your 17th. Right. So if, if relationship standards is what it takes to get a 17 and, and add 17 more onto that, uh, we'll be doing the same thing. <laughs> awesome. So like I said, we're watching you. So, um, this was a, a little tangent. I interrupted you as you were no, about to get great. into I love it. To the couple. So go ahead and share your couple's mission statement. Okay. Our couple's mission statement is to consciously cultivate and create Intimate, sexy, and intimate, sexy relationship fueled by love, daily appreciation, authentic communication, and compassion, all while utilizing the Your Day Balance game to powerfully synergize as a couple and unconditionally support each other toward the greatest version of ourselves. Mm, I love that. And this is what you and Nancy sat down and worked on together. Yes. Ah, that's great. Yeah. What, is, what has happened? What has come out of creating this couple's mission statement for you? Um, we are definitely, we are definitely cultivating more intimate moments and a more intimate relationship with each other. Um, 17 years of being married, you wouldn't think that it would be getting sexier Mm. and it is. We, we love each other and love on each other more now than I think we ever have. You hear that everybody? (laughs) After 17 years of marriage, it gets sexier. It's amazing. With something like couple's mission statement and being very clear as to what both of you are are creating and your roles and what you're playing for that's awesome 
we take time to dote on each other, you know, fueled by love and daily appreciation. Uh, it's just a reminder that uh, we, it is uh, it to, to, to fill each other's tank, you know, emotionally mm-hmm. fill each other's tank. Uh, the authentic communication, compassion, uh, you know, again, about coming down to being transparent and, uh, you know, getting out from behind our fears. I mean, even after 17 years, you know, you can still have some fears about, you know, having a discussion about, you know, a certain topic or it could be anything. Absolutely. It could be anything. And, and, you know, it, it keeps it real, you know, it, it keeps us in front of it and, uh, and, uh, grows our, our consciousness as a couple together. And you're doing this while you're raising two boys. How old are your boys? Uh, Rex just turned 10. Happy birthday, Rex. Happy and, birthday. And Lucas is eight and a half and he'll tell you he's on his way to being eight and three quarters. Right now. <laughs> so you've got... Two boys, eight and a half and ten. You're you're growing a multi, multi, multi million dollar business. You're leading a team in your in your company, and you you're putting you're making enough time to create a sexier relationship. Hard to believe, isn't it? <laughs> it, it Not in the context of this show, right? And you know what's funny is you know I say that and laugh because uh, you know one of the things that Nancy and I the biggest thing I think a lot of us play for is to find that balance in our lives, you yeah. know, and and uh, you know and cleansing from television and and some of the technology really gives you back some time to work on some other things. Ah, back to the balance chart, right? right there. So, right. so the fact that you have in your balance chart some technology cleanses some. Some things, so you're getting rid of the distractions. It, it creates the space for you and Nancy to then connect and to live out the mission statement and be more present with each other. Yeah, brings it all full circle. Yes, sir. So let's get to the to the last one that you have on there. Um, Our company mission statement. Company mission statement. Yeah, just the, we'll, we'll round it out with the company mission statement. Cool. Uh, super. We, we model modeled it after the the, the KW Keller Williams uh, mission statement and kept it real simple. And it simply, it simply states, um, to be the measure of a balanced life, to model the bold entrepreneur, and to consciously connect loving communities. Mm. Succinct, powerful, and, uh, and, and something that I imagine everyone within your business knows, sees, Absolutely. and they're like, got it. This is what we're playing for. Yep. Exactly. They, they know, the people know, uh, the people that work for us know. Liz knows, Jimmy knows, uh, and then and, you know, I, I love when, because it's on the bottom of every one of our emails, and I love when our, yeah. our clients bring it up and they're like, what does this mean, consciously connecting? Oh, that's cool. You know, that means I'm going to be present with you, and that I'm with you the, the entire way, and we're not just going to make a, a life-changing decision lightly. You know, we're, This is going to be a, a very deliberate um, and, and conscious creation between the two of us. Uh, and that has to go so far with building that trust and building that relationship. Absolutely. I mean, you are the man about relationships, right? That's it. I am. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. You're also the, the mission statement master because I haven't seen anybody who had this many mission statements. And oh, wow. I know you guys are, you have or are working on your family mission statement as well. So that's a, there's a fourth that you're going to be adding. It is. We have, uh, we, we have started one uh, and it's one that we want to make sure that the boys can relate to. So we have uh, Jameson spelled out on a board and we are uh with the boys creating um powerful words around you know the spelling of jameson so that it'd be something that they can internalize as well you know what that's happening in the bivens household we're <laughs> I, i'm i'm gonna sit down with sarah and before maya gets here we'll have bivens spelled out because i love that i love that idea and I, I can't wait to see yours when it's complete awesome I'll show so you. so since mission statements was such a big part of what we talked about um, let's round it out with, you know, what's for, for somebody who's listening, Bill, I would love for you to share why mission statements, like why you have them in your life, why you take the time to create them, why you take the time to put reminders on your phone to read them, why you recite them when you're in workout, in play, in a squat hold, you know, why, why do you do those things with a mission statement? Again, it's, it's all, it's all about, well, I, it's all about putting something out there that is uh, greater than who I am or who I'm being at the at the present time. So it gives me room to grow and and to use your analogy from earlier about the airplane and the course corrections. Uh, it helps when uh, I possibly 
make a decision that might be less than powerful or a circumstance that arises that I'm, I'm, I'm working, working through and, uh, it, it gets me back to center again mm-hmm. and, and reminds me what exactly I am playing for. And, uh, you know, like I said, it gets me back to center more quickly. Ah, I love that. Um, I'm a huge fan of mission statements and I'm inspired by you because, you know, you've really taken it to a new level. And so, <laughs> you know, you, you're, you're going to inspire me to look at mine, to talk with Sarah about creating a couple's mission statement. Um, to, we have, we have some couples, uh, standards and, and agreements, but I don't think we, I know we don't have a couple's mission statement, at least not one that we recite and, and is written anywhere that I can find easily. So you've inspired me with that big time and, cool. uh, you're an awesome guy. Man. You're an awesome guy. <laughs> Thank you. So, so are you. Yeah. So, well, I appreciate that. Um, so with this show, it is called having it all. And I, I bring, you know, I brought you on the show because you are somebody who is going after what that means to you. And it's, and it's very proactive in that. I'm curious, what does having it all mean to you? All right. What does having it all mean to me? Uh, having, having it all means, you know, being, having the most balanced life that I can and knowing that when life gets a bit complicated or things do not go exactly as planned or, or even if I make a decision that could be less than powerful, that I have the tools to not judge myself or others, but, you know, to work, to work my way, you know, gracefully back to center again, uh, surrendering to the lesson, no matter what form it takes, um, Mm. And, uh, that's a powerful one right there. Yeah. And, uh, and know that, uh, life is always going to be challenging and, uh, and creating fear and getting out of the way of that. And, uh, you know, living into the greatest version of myself that I can. Do you have it all? I feel like I do. Yes, I do. Absolutely. I, I, I believe that. You know, you're, I see you playing for a lot and mm. putting it out there and being it. And for somebody who is saying, I'm about this, and then who shows up in their actions, you know, that's happening at all. Thank you. I, uh, it hasn't always been this way, man. You know, no. it hasn't always been this way. And I am so grateful for the lessons and for the coaches and for Nancy and and really showing up for myself as well, you know. And at one at a, at a point saying, you know, if if this doesn't change, you know, if I, by not making a decision, I'm making a decision, right? And yeah. So, totally. And and by not making decisions and how I was going to, to to view my life and and take steps to move and evolve with it, uh, you know, I was I was still going to be that guy, you know, just that that guy that drank and hung out and. Uh, watch a lot of TV and that's you know I'm playing for greater than that totally what I what I love about you Bill and this is how we'll, you know we can we can wrap up with this is that you you're not a coach you're not a personal trainer you're not a balanced lifestyle coach you, you know but you speak like you are because of all the reps that you've put in mm-hmm. you know as we were going through and spelling out balance that acronym Part of me thought in my mind, oh, it's interesting. This is the first conversation I've had where I've gone through and actually spelled out balanced in this way, Mm -hmm. and I'm not doing it with a coach who coaches people on this stuff. Oh, interesting. And I was like, you know, the reason why that's significant is because you have received the coaching so powerfully. Mm. So like you just said, you were somebody who was living a certain way, you were being a certain way. And you decided that you wanted something greater and you sought out coaching and you surrendered to it. Right. And from that surrender, what I'm experiencing is everything we talked about, right? Like the mission statements, the, the balance, the conversations with your wife, the being clear about what you want to create has come out of saying, I'm in this place. I want to get to that place. Let me surrender to the coaching. And so you're able to talk like you're an expert in this stuff mm. because you are. Because you've put in the reps. And I think that that right there, for you listening, if you're thinking, like, I, I need to be a coach in this or I need to go seek some other, some some formal training or uh, this great, but, you know, I'm not XYZ type of person. Bill was there 
and look at where you are now. I think that's huge. It is. It is. I am uh, I'm grateful and humbled by the process and uh, thankful that I could get out of my own way. You know, mm. I think a, a lot of us tend to, to let what we know stand in the way of what we don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, that's just all ego, you know? It's just a lot of ego. And once you realize that you're playing for something greater than who you are right now, uh, you, you surrender that ego. You, you surrender to the process and realize that you can obtain more through accountability and coaching and, and, and listening to the wisdom of others uh, than you can by just listening to yourself. And that's been probably one of the biggest lessons I've, uh, I've, I've had over the last five years. Hmm. Incredible. Incredible. Um, Bill, thank you so much for coming into the studio with me right now and, uh, and, and hanging out and putting up with the barking dogs and, and everything <laughs> and just opening up and making yourself uncomfortable. <laughs> you well, know? I got to tell you, it wasn't so bad. It was, it was, abs <laughs> it was absolutely amazing, and uh, thank you for having me. Uh, again, I'm, I'm humbled and, uh, and honored to be here and uh, be able to share what I have with others. So thank you so much. Awesome. I appreciate you. Love you. Love you too, man. Two quick things before you leave. First, did you know that the Having It All podcast is a part of the Fireside Network? Yep, we are one of the esteemed shows that calls Fireside Network home. That means if you ever want to listen to a show outside of iTunes or Stitcher or whatever your favorite podcasting app is, all you need to do is visit firesidenetwork.com and under shows, select Having It All. From there, you can access all the episodes, see the show notes, learn about my guests, and more. Second, I am very excited to announce that my brand new website is live. Visit MatthewBivens.com and you can learn more about me, get plugged into an accountability group, and pick up some free content like the Abundance Benchmark. I am all about helping you not only identify what your ideal life looks like, but also helping you on your journey towards it. I want you to experience more abundance and love in your life. So again, you can find out more information about all of that great stuff at MatthewBivens.com. Thank you once more for listening to the show, and here is to you having it all. Hey, Mel, Bri here. Gotta work from home today because the whole family caught a nasty. Daddy! Hey, Mikey, if you're gonna puke, find the popcorn bowl! But my availability is 110%. Coincidentally, so is my fever. <laughs> Kidding. Mel, I'm so cold but hot. Uh, but I'm going to get you that budget. Just as soon as... Right. Mikey! Popcorn bowl! Press 1 to use Instacart and get your family's sick day essentials delivered in as fast as 30 minutes. Press 2 to keep working. Do not press 2. Just use Instacart. Brian.